Okay, so we're going to do a quick tutorial on this photo right here. Uh, the final of the photo is actually this. This is the achieve goal that I wanted here with uh, with a shot. I wanted it very warm, very sharp, and, uh, and like a clean image of, of them kissing into the sunset. Uh, the original image looks just like this. Um, one of the things that I did to it is I really wanted, like I said, a warm feel to it. So yes, we can always just bump up the, uh, the temperature in there and, and get that warm light. When you go back to the original, you can see that the white balance on her dress is uh, is pretty close to original when uh, when you white balance there. So this shot right here is is one of those that we can do it two different ways. You can either bring it into uh, into Photoshop, do the selections around them, and then uh, warm up the background. Uh, one of the other ways that you can do it is try and go in here and paint the uh, the background in with some saturation. And you might get the same effect right there, but you can obviously see that you're going to do a lot more work on it. Going through and making all the way through, like I said, all the way through here, you got to do each one of these. So one of the ways that I found to do it, and I stumbled across this by this exact uh, means, is as I was trying to saturate a photo, and I actually had unsaturate on or desaturate, where uh, my saturation was way down. So boost your uh, temperature all the way back up where you want the desired effect to be. It could be here. I mean, if you want it cool, you can do the same treatment or effect that way. Cool doesn't work as well as uh, as the warm does in here. On this, we are going to now paint, uh, excuse me, paint in without auto mask on, and we're going to paint in some desaturation on the dress. I know this sounds really simple and easy, but it may be one of those things that are overlooked. And then the next step that I want to do is I do want to brighten it up. You can brighten it up a lot, darken it all the way through here. So once you use this adjustment brush, it is a very powerful tool. Um, and I really like them and enjoy them a lot. I am going to skip his jacket for this moment right here. But then the next step that you want to do here is uh, you're going to hold down the Alt key. Or you can come over here and hit, hit the, the Erase so that we can undo what we're doing. Leave Auto Mask off. Feather is going to be relatively high. Do it about 65 where I got it. Um, size you can make to about 50 and then we're going to come in and undo what we did ever so slightly. I'm actually painting with the feather so I'm painting where my crosshair is now but using the edge of it and you want to come in and just bring that in just slightly to get some of that warmth to bleed around the edge of her dress there. Bring that back in since it is transparent and we'll get this section here because it is a transparent area and I got a little bit too much so what I want to do is undo my erase or click the alt button and I want to get just that edge back in there and there we go get that and right about there We'll do it one more time. We'll paint on, on that edge right there. So the original that I did the other day, I want to see how close I came to it without going in back and looking through it. And it's relatively close, um, but that is the that's the treatment that you want to do. I do have a little bit more warm over here that I probably could have desaturated. This is the ultimate final that I did the other day that I really liked, enjoyed it, and, and it really looked a lot better than uh, and just doing it with the temperature alone. That's the easiest tutorial right there that I've ever done, I'm going to admit it, but uh, it may be one of those that are overlooked and that you don't realize that, hey, this is how it was done, just with a simple desaturation. Um, so just if you have any of those shots that you really want to warm up, but you don't want to have uh, the warmth go through every inch of that photo, that's the way to do it. Check me out on Facebook, Mark Dickinson, Mark Dickinson Photography, and I appreciate it, guys. Thanks. Leave some feedback if you liked it.